what's going on youtube back again with another video in this video we are going to be installing some billet insert parts for the truck so yeah stay tuned for that we're going to get right into it and we're also going to be fixing uh the compressor switch for the truck the one that's for the airbags because every time i'm at a show and i'm playing music as you can see i have the custom gas tank in the back and we do have the custom where we fill up the tank with the stereo that I play all the time when I go to shows. And my compressor be kicking on here and there, but they never installed a switch. And right now I got a switch. Uh, it's for my two-step, but I don't really use my two-step, especially now that I don't have a tune and I'm not tuned yet. So we're gonna be taking that switch right now and hooking that one up to my tanks. Just hooking that one, using that for now until I get a tune, then we'll install new fuse for that one but for now we're gonna use that and we'll see what route we go but we're gonna fix that first then we're gonna be installing some uh, billet insert parts like I said got the little side ones by the door got the center console billet insert parts right here AC parts uh, another one with the little knobs and we got the center console one right here. We are waiting some more bin answer parts, so y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, I was talking to the bro when we went to Fort Worth, Texas to Bandas y Trocas. I will be inserting his truck right here. Uh, right here, this is what I wanna do to mine. Basically a body drop right there. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the owner. But that's basically all the setup, everything that we wanna do to it. Like this bad boy right here just like this definitely one of the dream builds right here so my goal is to have the truck basically the same how he has his truck his is just a GMC so I was talking to him about this part he said they're a little hard to come across but I that day once we left the show um, I just stood up that day and I happened to find the parts and they were, they were a little pricey but you know I was like I had to get them so I pulled the plug and ordered them as soon as possible to get them like I said if I was like that must be the last ones so I hopped on them got them so like I said we're still waiting on a few little parts but for now we're gonna install these pieces and we're gonna go straight into it so let me go ahead and fix that little tank little fix that they the shop never installed and we'll get right into the balancer parts yes, so right now we're gonna be hooking this one to the wire the one that's gonna give it a uh, ignition whenever I turn it on so I can hook it up to a switch so anytime you are gonna be running anything with power I recommend using this fuse tap in hook up your fuse if anything does blow it's gonna be your fuses not your whole wiring and It'll cost a lot more to replace whatever you're doing than just replacing a few. So I always recommend those. Get some wire cutters, some crimps to cramp it, and we're gonna hook this up, run it to a wire, and everything should be should hooked up. And I just gotta see where I'm gonna mount it and go from there. We'll test it here in a bit. So right now we do have it hooked up to the fuse box, as you can see right there. So right now we're gonna give it power. You hear the fuel pump kicking on. So right now I just have it mocked up how it's gonna be. So as you can see, we do got power. So as soon as I turn the switch, you should the compressor should kick on. A little hard one-handed. As you can see, there we go. That's what we wanted. Now I just gotta see where we're gonna install the switch. Maybe get a better switch for now, but it's working as you can see. Yes. And now it's not gonna be killing my battery as it was back then. The last time it, uh, with, I was messing with the fuel pump, killed my battery. We're not gonna have that no more. We, we're gonna see where we're gonna hook it up. Maybe right here, I'm still not sure, but I'll see where that wire that. And whenever we do get in the truck, I'll just turn on the compressor and go from there. So yeah, I'll stay tuned for that. Now I just gotta route it and go from there. So right now we're gonna install the little bezels right there. We are still waiting for those pieces right there. And you got those pieces right there. We still need steering wheel that we might end up doing. I'm not gonna tell you 
what serum I'm going to be going with just yet, but y'all got to stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing the billet shift knob. Like I said, that one. We're waiting on this one to come in. And some other more parts. This one billet. So y'all stay tuned. Like I said, we're going to be installing the parts we got. We got the center ones that go right there for the cup holder. We got this one, this one, the one that goes right here. And the one that go right there. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to be switching that stereo on here soon. Y'all stay tuned for that video. And we're also going to be making a trip to get a quote on the truck to do a body drop. Or we'll see what route we go still. But we are going to be heading to Lubbock, Texas to get a price for Lubbock for a body drop so y'all stay tuned for that video that should be coming here shortly but we'll go from there but for now let me go ahead and open those parts and hopefully try to install all of them that i can because i think they do have 3m tape uh that one does those do the other ones well i could just put in since they don't really have to since they just sit in there but let me go ahead and install those and clean it up and we'll go from there but one last little look before we install those little parts and what big difference it makes and add some little character to it so yes they tune so right here we got the first one the little vents right here on the ac vent right here on the side so that's how it goes uh right now we did go ahead and open this one so basically what you want to do for this one so i got the little, little one that's gonna go on that side but for now we got this one's right here so pretty much basically this one's are pretty just gonna slide in so as you can see a little before so basically they just go in there like that and we got the middle one I'm pretty sure it goes this way if I'm not mistaken because they are a little hard to get out if you put it in wrong so let me see this one should be just like this one so let me go ahead and install it right then I'll get back to it so I just finished installing this one. So basically for this one, you basically got to take a little cover off. If not, it's going to stick just a little up. So I decided I'm still going to keep this just in case if I decided to take them off, but I doubt it. Uh, just keep it just in case or you could always throw it away. In that case, I just took it off. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I think it just gives it a better look, especially once we have all the interior. Like I said, I am going to be posting a picture and I like the bros truck basically how I have my goals for my truck and we'll, one day we'll get it there but y'all yeah, stay tuned and little by little we'll have all the little interior parts but I think it gives it that nice little look so uh, this one I might do last since I gotta take the little plastic cover off and install it since it doesn't just go over it you gotta take the little bezel which is not too hard but I'm gonna be installing the little side vents the next one and this one last and like I said I gotta wait for this one to come in so y'all stay tuned for that video once we get there those I might be uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be making just another video installing all the pieces back together at the same time so yeah stay tuned for that that's my what I just do but let's get right into those but insert parts so right now we did just install that one as you can see right there we installed the little air vents right there the little pieces this one that goes right there i'll give you another shot tomorrow of how it looks on like on daylight because right now it is getting a little dark on us but that's all that one is this one is now i just gotta take that bezel once that vessel does come off, uh, I will be showing you that piece and showing you some better light in the morning. But we're going to be putting that bezel off right now. So it is the next day. I'm going to be showing you the billet insert parts, like I was saying. So right here, there's a little knob that I was telling you that I was going to put on. So I did have to 
wait and let it sit over time for it to stay on there good was a little had to play with it a little but it's on there now then of course you got this one you got your little knobs right there like i said i'm still waiting on uh, those those right there the ones for the handle i gotta fix that little handle either way waiting on those i am going to be replacing this ones right here and they're the billet ones kind of insert it so those just come right out on those uh we might be installing a, a, a different steering wheel so yeah stay tuned for that um probably gonna be getting the billet insert for here this one those so we're waiting on those uh once those get here i'll probably make another separate video installing more billet insert parts so yeah stay tuned for that video and like i said we got those right there that's how that looks right there. Got those. Those right there. So like I said, we're slowly working on the interior. Like I said, uh, the interior is going to get a whole makeover, but that's going to be with some time. Right now, I am just slowly doing the little things. So yeah, stay tuned. Like I said, we got the speakers down there. Uh, gonna be switching this one out like i said steering wheel basically the whole nine yards yeah stay tuned like i said it's coming along but that is how the interior looks and like i said i did uh put a little link uh showing you a video of how the truck is gonna look once it's done far still far away from how i want it but it's gonna get there so like i said let me see if i can get a little don't excuse the mess right there coming along slowly but shortly yes stay tuned got the double sunroofs and yeah stay tuned for the other videos we are getting some more stuff for the truck and hopefully we'll see what we get done hopefully before show season but yeah stay tuned and i'll catch you back in the next video